A few years ago, I was feeling tired with low energy and I felt like I was lacking this core manliness that had always been at least somewhat present in my life before. So I went and checked my testosterone levels and they came back at 244 nanograms per deciliter. Now that was low, but according to the physician, still within range. But since I was an otherwise healthy man and I was under the age of 40 at that time, I really had a hard time accepting that number. So I decided to go on a mission to see just how high I could take my own testosterone levels just by using natural tools and tricks. And this is what I'm going to share with you today. Disclaimer, now this video is not intended to be any kind of medical advice. Heck, I'm not even making recommendations on what you can try. I'm just going to share my own experience, exactly what I did and what happened to me. The first thing I started tackling was my sleep. I increased my sleep by, I would say, almost one hour more per night on average. Previously, I was getting about six hours a night, sometimes a bit more, sometimes a bit less, but now I started trying to get at least seven hours of sleep per night. Back in the day I was also quite beer happy, <laughs> but now I drastically cut down on my beer intake to having just one to two beers a week max. I also made an effort to lower my sugar intake and I started eating less junk food. I started taking a garlic extract supplement before bedtime. Now, this was only the beginning and in a moment you're going to see what else I started doing. But already after a couple of weeks, I was so excited. So I went and took a new blood test. And it came back at 461 nanograms per deciliter. Okay, great. So being more healthy is better for your hormones. <laughs> Who would have thought, right? Obviously. And with just a few changes, I had managed to increase my testosterone levels quite a bit. Now, 461 was still a bit lower than I would like. But I was motivated by the change. So now I really wanted to see just how high I could boost them if I started doing more. Very excited to continue, I started adding more fats to my diet. Since, well, most of you probably know that testosterone is synthesized from cholesterol. Now, I was still not full keto here, but I ate more saturated fats in general. I drastically reduced the length of my cardio sessions from doing almost one hour sessions down to 30 minute sessions to avoid excess cortisol levels because I was running with a pretty decent tempo and back then I was doing about two to three cardio sessions per week. I started drinking pomegranate juice once a day and I made my own from real pomegranates. Now, I have always been training in the gym as well, but at this point I didn't really change anything in the gym and I worked out about three times a week. And I also started taking three minute cold showers a few times a week. Some days I just couldn't master up the discipline to take them, but I did my best. Now, this one is interesting here because some YouTubers say that cold exposure can actually lower testosterone levels. But I personally think it depends on when you are measuring your levels. If you, for example, measure right after a cold shower, then yeah, they might perhaps be lower because cold showers are a serious stressor for the body. But long term, as you adapt, I think that they might help. And as you'll see in a moment, oh man, at least they didn't hurt my levels. Now again, I was very excited to see if my levels had changed. And to be honest, I don't really remember exactly how long I kept doing this phase before I took my next test. But I was so excited that I could certainly not wait several months. So we are talking about a few weeks here. And so I went and checked myself again. And now the results came back at 750. Yes, yes, yes. I was so happy with this result. Very excited. But I was so motivated now. I had momentum. So I wanted to keep it going and keep experimenting more. And so now I started implementing a keto diet, a cyclical keto diet with one day of carbohydrates about once a week. And by the way, I quickly noticed how this way of doing it made me feel exceptionally well. I started taking cold 
showers more regularly and now I was not missing one single day of cold showers. I reduced the length of my gym training and tried my best to not spend any longer than 30 to 35 minutes in the gym and I started putting more of my energy on the big compound movements such as the squat bench press and chin-ups and deadlifts. I started taking a natural testosterone booster supplement that I thought looked particularly interesting and I'll tell you more about that one in just a moment here. I started eating more of the following foods tuna, whole eggs, grass-fed beef, oysters, shrimps, garlic. I started icing my testicles. <laughs> yes, while watching TV in the evenings, I took a few ice cubes out of my freezer, put them in a sock and wrapped it around my testicles for about 10 to 15 minutes or so. Now, I realize this may sound crazy, but did you know that the majority of your testosterone production happens in your testicles? And why do you think your balls are hanging outside of your body? <laughs> and there's a reason for that. That's right, to keep cool. Now, a word of warning here. If you do try this, you don't want to put the ice directly on your skin. You don't want to get freeze damage here. So that's why I was using the sock. So proceed with caution. If you do the ice trick, it is at your own risk. All right, so I kept doing this, still feeling very motivated when I went and took my final blood and it came back a whopping 980 nanograms per deciliter. I had just succeeded with quadrupling my own natural testosterone production. Having testosterone levels of almost 1000 nanograms per deciliter is extremely impressive for being almost 4 years old. In fact, those are high levels for pretty much any age. Now, don't worry, I won't go into detail about my personal life here, but the lack of energy and male vitality I mentioned in the beginning, well, completely gone. Simply put, I felt amazing, <laughs> like a beast. So I personally think that the four most important things I did that pushed the needle the most were the daily cold showers, the heavy strength training with few reps and plenty of rest between sets, the cyclical ketogenic diet, and definitely the testosterone booster supplement. And by the way, if you're interested in learning more about that particular supplement, then take a look at this video right here. As over there, I'm actually giving a detailed review about it. So just click on that right now and you'll see exactly what I mean.